Steel wool is a popular medium used by techs worldwide to polish your frets. It's never used in this shop, and that's because some techs say that it should never be used on guitars because it's going to get into your pickups and ruin your pickups. Others say that they can control it easily, so what's the problem? So which is it? I'll tell you what. Why don't we just grab one of our guitars, throw it on the bench, and put it to the test? Or even better, why don't we just experiment on a customer's guitar? Yeah, this way, if anything goes wrong, at least we won't mess up one of our own guitars. Yeah, let's do that. There's an old Chinese proverb that says, if you're going to use steel wool to uh, polish your frets, make sure you also use disposable pickups. Yeah, because you're going to have to change them frequently because steel wool will get all over your pickups. Uh, do you know Dylan? He's got a YouTube channel called Dylan Talkstone. I've been following him since he was little, by the way. Yeah, he started his channel about 10 years ago. So if you like guitars and you like to watch guitar related content on YouTube, just subscribe to his channel. Oh, by the way, <laughs> subscribe to this channel as well, obviously. So Dylan is in the business of building pickups. So I think he probably knows a thing or two about pickups. And his advice is never use steel wool to polish your frets because steel wool will get all over your pickups and ruin your pickups. Today, I want to put this theory to a test because this is what we do at Guitar Quackery. We do scientific experiments on guitars to see how things work. The patient today is a Gibson Les Paul Studio. Um, it's fitted with a fret shield for the scientific experiment we're about to do. Well, come to think of it, it's not a patient. It's more like uh, the guinea pig of the day. So here we're going to focus on these first three frets. And I'm going to take a, a brand new, a fresh uh, pad of steel wool, quadruple zero, and just polish these frets one by one. It is very quick uh, and effective. So these frets don't need much uh, polishing, but uh, you know we're still doing it for the sake of uh, science. This is one of uh, the favorite mediums used by guitar techs worldwide to polish frets. Uh, now, I think this would be uh, the amount of polishing that one would do. So clearly you can see that I am doing it off the bench. So none of the steel wool particles are falling onto the bench. And uh, now I'm going to use a repair magnet to pick up the steel wool particles that are left here on the fretboard. So I'm going to try to be thorough with a cleanup job, even flexing this. All right. This is a very strong neodymium magnet. And now um, I'm going to remove the fret shield uh, once again off the bench. So if there's any uh, steel wool left on the fretboard, it should fall off the bench. I have a, a trash can right underneath uh, the neck. Now we can move this camera away and put the guitar on the bench and inspect the fretboard with a microscope. So we're looking at the first fret. We want to look at the fretboard and I can see here a little piece of steel wool right there. Uh, where did it go? I don't know. 
seems to have jumped off. I hope it didn't land on my workbench. Here's another piece. So if I take the magnet, you can see that it's moving, right? Uh, here we have another piece. All right. So let's look around the fretboard. I would say uh, this is also uh, a fragment right there. And there's more right there. There's quite a few. Okay. Now, let me bring the magnet close. See what happens. So you see it's moving, right? So now um, I am going to use this stick to push it off. Well, it seems like it's embedded, okay? Um, you see, it left an impression here. So, I guess um, the fret shield pressed the steel wool particle against the fretboard, right? Let's zoom out and look around. This is the second fret. Uh, not sure what that is. Here, I believe this is a, another steel wool particle right there. Right? Let's zoom in a little bit. Definitely, I see uh, contamination right there. Um, we can see some steel wool particles right here. Let's pick them up using that magnet. See? The magnet picks up the steel wool. We have some contamination here. Okay. So let's push them using the stick. You see? They're right there. I'm going to bring the magnet close. Here comes the magnet. You can see how they move, okay? Third fret. Right there, there's something. All right. I think we've seen enough. So, my conclusion. It appears that Dylan was right. You just can't control steel wool. And I was just polishing the first three frets away from the body. Uh, but once you start polishing uh, the frets right next to the neck pickup, forget about it. And by the way, if you ever get any steel wool particles on your pickups, don't try to use magnets to clean them. Because if those are Alnico pickups, you will change the magnetic charge of the pickups. Oh, by the way, one of you bought me a coffee yesterday. It was, uh, it was Chad. Thank you, Chad. Mm. And any of you can buy me a coffee if you like my content you can just click the link below that says buy me a coffee and if you do like this content uh, well make sure you click like share and subscribe all right so let's go polish some frets yeah man as you can see i'm polishing the frets manually using a microfiber cloth and a polishing compound so this takes a while. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, my right arm is more developed than my left arm. I think they call this a uh, professional hazard. It's from polishing frets, not from jerking off. 
so this takes a while yeah so look uh, it's all black and that's uh, metal mixed with the polishing compound so I just keep doing this until I'm done I got two more frets left and then I'll be done with the polishing and buffing and we're gonna make another video about polishing and buffing procedures which do not involve the use of steel wool okay about the jerking off oh excuse me guitar quackery well did you click like share and subscribe well why not what are you waiting for All right thank you now hold on a second uh, a viewer wants to know what kind of polishing compound i use to polish frets well let me ask you this um uh, can you keep a secret good so do i <laughs> he wants to know everything yeah how about uh first supporting this channel on patreon or something and then asking questions all right uh where was i now, i don't know but i got one more thing to show you i'm done polishing and buffing the frets uh, i have not uh cleaned up the fretboard yet but here i want to show you uh some close-ups uh, so that you can see what the frets look like uh, here we have a uh, um, the fretboard right under the microscope and maybe we want to zoom in on this fret um, just to see uh, what it looks like so this is the first fret um, I have not done uh, a level crown and polish on the on, on this fretboard this is why we we do see a few dimples left uh, here and here uh, but yeah, um, this is uh, uh, what it looks like. So I know you were able to see uh, some uh, scratches on the fret, uh, but let's be real. Uh, we were looking under the microscope. So in real life, this would look like polished jewelry. And also, if you were to look at polished jewelry under the microscope, you would see some microscopic scratches, just like on the frets yeah we've come to the end of this video so remember if you like to see this kind of content on youtube just let youtube know by clicking the like share and subscribe buttons thank you very much uh, if you want to buy me a coffee like uh, chad did yesterday uh, just click the link that says buy me a coffee if you want to ask questions you know support this channel on patreon first Nah, I'm just kidding. Just uh, type in the comments and I will read, you know, and perhaps I'll make a video for you. What else? Uh, I'll see you next time.